Hi, I'm Matt Vanicoro, keyboard product specialist with Samson. We're here at Sweetwater, and I'm going to talk to you about the Graphite 49. The Graphite 49 is an amazing new controller from Samson. Uh, it's got a lot of features in it that I feel set itself apart from the other products in that price class. Um, first off, when you, when you pick it up, it comes bundled with complete elements. So everything you need to really get making music on your computer right away, whether you want it to be live or in studios, it's a great sound set. comes with uh, you know, the Abbey Road drums, vintage synthesizer, the band instrument, orchestral instrument. So a lot of great sounds and you know, uh, easily, easy upgrade path into the, the full version of Complete if you dig it. I can have um, this particular slider controlling things on one MIDI channel while this button controls something on a different MIDI channel, this button controls something on a different MIDI channel. Um, all of them can be, you know, this whole bank doesn't have to be married to one MIDI channel. And that's great. That amount of flexibility in a controller is awesome. So I could take a nice horn sound. And if I want to adjust, you know, just the saxes on the first MIDI channel, I can have just some saxes. And then on another MIDI channel, I'll bring in some trumpets and then add some trombones to that and have a nice, thick, big horn patch. So, you know, the ability to kind of live mix my horn patch and stuff like that works because I can set the, all the different horns on the different MIDI channels and control them here. Um, the buttons even, even work uh, even better, I think. So if you look at these controller buttons, for example, on a lot of uh, other MIDI controllers, these buttons will be either momentary switches or latch switches. So in other words, you can use a button and tap it to like tap tempo or something like that, or you can use that entire bank of buttons to be an on off type button. But on the Graphite 49, every single button can be a different kind of thing. I can have some buttons for tapping tempo. So for example, if I just go to my clav patch here, you notice I got some delay on there. So I want to tap the tempo. I'll use this first button F1 and tap the tempo a little faster to give it kind of a slap back. Now at the same time, any of these other buttons right next to it, they don't have to be toggles, they could be, you know, switches. So now I can turn the wah on, I can turn the delay off, and turn some flanger on. So instead of it, you know, having them all be like on-off switches, I can combine them both. Any of these buttons can do whatever I want. Um, another great thing about the car about the graphite 49 is that the it's such a compact controller they've taken out some of the drum pads because you know a lot of times you don't need all 16 in a keyboard controller if you're a gigging keyboardist so you know they you'll you'll get a lot of space uh, space savings by having only four of them so I use them myself for patch changes so I can use these for patch changes and I know that when I hit this it's never going to make a noise because I've actually programmed these buttons program these drum buttons to not send note data and that's another thing I love about the graphite is that these buttons don't have to send note data a lot of other controllers your drum pads are married to sending notes you know C0 C sharp 0 and if you're using an instrument that's receiving um, notes on that channel when you go to use this to change patches or to change your modulation or something every time you tap it you're gonna hear a note but that's not so with the graphite you can actually configure those buttons to not send notes and just send controller data so for a power user, it's a really great thing. Um, you know, the last thing I would say about the graphite that really sets it apart from everything else in its class is it's how quickly you can configure it on the keyboard without any software required. You plug this in and it works. You can call up a preset, um, flip through if you use, you know, Acid, Sony Acid, Mark of the Unicorn, um, Logic, Pro Tools, anything. You just open up that preset and everything will work. Um, you know, your faders will be mapped to control volume, your encoders will control pan, you'll have record arm buttons, um, mute buttons, you can switch banks, so it all works so easily. But if you're a, a tinkerer and you want to get into it yourself, you can easily go to one of the blank uh, banks later on and setting this up is so easy. You tap the setup button, you pick the controller that you want to adjust, you hit it, and you have a great readout on this LCD screen that it's sending a note, It's you could tell it what note to send. I don't need to use any kind of software to do that. I can just tap it and tell it, hey, 
Don't send a note. Send a controller data. Send it on, you know, MIDI channel 10, MIDI channel 9, MIDI channel 8, anything. Um, so it's really awesome. It's, it's so well laid out. It's such a performance uh, instrument. So that's the Graphite 49. A um, lot of great features and even a lot of things we couldn't go into today. So if you have any questions, call your Sweetwater sales engineer today to find out about the Graphite 49 or any great Samson product.